Well, I don't think I've actually tried the live on YouTube, so I I'd give a treat to all the people who have taken the time to subscribe or show up. If you don't know, this is Bob Lindy from the Tradition School of Earth Studies, and I haven't been on here in a while outside of the open forum. And in case you don't know it, the open forum is coming up this evening from 6 to 8 p.m. I'm going to be live on Facebook. And I thought I'd take a stroll around Boyd Hill Nature Park on this beautiful Friday morning. I think it's still morning. And see what kind of interesting things are growing these days. Might see a critter. I'm afraid I didn't have this pulled up yet, but just as I walked into the park, there was a beautiful owl that was up in the tree that was calling to another owl, Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? Was his call, Big Barn Owl. And uh, of course, just as I stopped recording, he took off and flew over to another tree, just that beautiful expanse of wings. So if you've never been to Boyd Hill, there's all kinds of fun critters out here, usually very quiet. One of the best kept secrets in St. Petersburg, Florida. Boy, is this the time to be here. Um, I decided to go to the left, the start of the trail, which is more the open pine barrens rather than the lake area. I think I'll probably go over to Facebook and do the lake area after this. But along this stretch, we oftentimes will find some gopher turtles just strolling along and having a snack. Last time or two I was here, I saw a few. We will definitely keep our eyes open for that. And as we wander along here, yay, somebody's here. Uh, as we wander along here, I'm going to see what kind of snacks we can find or edible or medicinal plants. So I gotta make sure I haven't gone this way in a long time, so I literally don't know what's growing right now. I gotta get in the shade so I can see what. <laughs> it's funny. I know there's comments on here, but I gotta figure out how to do them. I'm still figuring this one out. The uh, ah, there we go. There, got it. Hey. All right, now I can see if anybody posts a question or something. Well, if you're in Florida this time of year, one of the best snacks that's out here is the Smilax. And uh, Smilax is so many different levels and benefits. And let's see if we can find something to talk about here. I already ate breakfast. I'm going to come back and talk about that. It's definitely in bloom right now. So, whoop, there we go. Sorry, I had yummy food last night, so my sinuses are kicking my butt. So this is one type of uh, Smilax, green bar Smilax. And there is a large tuber at the base of this that's the real powerful medicine. But what you can see is these tender tips. So this is the very end, there we go, the very end. And I always say, bend down where it snaps off easy is yummy snacks. Oh my God, so good. You can eat it raw or steamed. These young leaves are super yummy. So this is, this, so many levels, this is food, it's medicine, it's steroidal-like, and um, in the islands, the Caribbean, there is, ooh, look at that pine sap, that's really good looking pine sap. On the islands, this is known as sarsaparilla, uh, and it's used for any number of different inflammatory, especially skin conditions. Uh, in Chinese medicine, it's tu fu ling, uh, T-U-F-U-L-I-N-G, and is used to get rid of damp or phlegm. Um, it's particularly good 